What's up, what's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy, The Hobby Collector, here alongside with my son. Um, I'm gonna break this video up into two different parts. The first part is gonna consist of our first initial reaction to these shoes. I found these shoes on Amazon randomly and for a good price. And then I seen other people's YouTube video and for the reviews that they did, you know, it kind of sold me. So I brought two pair and if we if we like it, I'm gonna order another pair right, right away for my son. So the second part of the video is gonna be me giving like professional commentary, you know, after I use them for a while, I'll let you guys know how I think about them and stuff like that. So boom, let's go ahead and get started. So these shoes is, is, is spelled X-I-D-I-S-O. So I guess it's pronounced uh, Exito or something or Zediso or I don't know. Let me this one this way. Mm. So that's it. So it's supposed to be like walking shoes and stuff like that. Lightweight, breathable. Kind of resemblance to Yeezys a little bit. And as I take them out the box, my first initial reaction, it kind of feels like that material. I actually have my Yeezys. Let me get my Yeezys with my son. Check them out real fast. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this feels good. Feel the inside. All right, so. They're dusty, but here's my Yeezys right here. Super dusty. And these bad boys is the real deal, holy feel. But yeah, it feels like kind of like the same material a little bit. I know it's probably not exactly the same material. The shoe sting is supposed to be a reflective. I'm not even on screen. Yeah, it's not bad, folks. I like the little specks and stuff. Let's try them on, but I'm going to get to the other color. Boom. These are too much white and these don't look bad either now on this part right here it says fashion fashion pioneer right here and i just got them because uh i wanted some that had the red and red and black inside of it a little bit mm -hmm. this is the closest one that had the red and black all the other ones were like different colors and stuff got the little red on the back right there black right there this one got the little blue right there so that's pretty cool so yeah folks that's gonna do it for this first part of the video pretty nice shoes not bad meant to be lightweight flexible walking shoes affordable but fashionable boom so i'm gonna give you guys the next part i'm gonna try these shoes on check them out give you guys some close-ups and then go from there All right, people, so after wearing the shoes for about a week and a half, um, I must say, even though they're not nothing to write home about, you know, they're not nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to the comfort and everything like that. I was hoping that they were, but you know, that's one of the disappointing areas of these shoes. Not really nothing bad, but like I said, you know, it's something that I expected. And, um, but when it comes to the look and the style, I wore them to work two times. And man, I must say the compliments, man like people it's see i've worn nice looking shoes before and you know even expensive shoes and i got like you know regular compliments you would get from wearing those shoes but with these shoes like the compliments i got was like as if someone seen a celebrity or something like they was like whoa what it, wait wh wait what like where do you get those from i need some of those like people wanted me to order them some wanted me to like damn they're throwing their money at me you know so um if you guys want to order some of these i will be putting the link down inside the description but um the reactions i got from people was actually more than what I even expected. Pretty much their reactions was how I reacted to them when I first saw the shoes online. You know, even though they're not nothing like Jordans or anything or anything that's super extremely name brand and that everybody would run out and go get, which is actually a good thing. Because think about it, if I make a review and these shoes end up blowing up and turning into a brand that's actually an expensive brand, in order for something to become an expensive brand, all it takes is for everyone to like it. Like for example, a prime example, the uh, electronic brand Logitech. You know, they used to be considered a cheap off-brand third-party company, but then everybody started liking their products and they become an actual regular household name. So 
I'm not saying exactly that this is going to happen with these shoes, but the reactions I got from wearing these shoes and people wanting me wanting to give me money to buy them a pair, you know, and I end up getting my son a pair and his reactions to it, too. Yeah. You know, these shoes are these shoes are nice. You know, they're, like I said, they're not nothing to write home about. And the soles of the shoes are made out of foam. They're not the actual rubber that you would get from normal shoes. They're meant to be light walking shoes but um for what you get they're nice shoes so i'm not complaining at all and for the price you know what do you expect but other than that these are some nice shoes like i said i had them for about a week and a half that's why it took me a little while to put this video up i actually use my things that i buy you know before i actually put up an actual video even though sometimes it may not seem like it so out of a b or c because that's how i rank my stuff my things that i uh you know like and stuff like that i give it a a minus, you know, I felt like they should have had way more color, uh, way more colorways than they have presented on Amazon. And I felt like, you know, design wise, it could have added a little more to it. Not necessarily, but like just little, little touches of more color to the shoe, you know. With that being said, like I said before, if you want to buy these shoes, the link will be the direct link to help me out, you know, because it does help me out just to put it straightforward because, you know, these videos do take a lot of time to put up and produce and to come up with. So with that being said, if you like the video, if it end up helping you out to, you know, see a new pair of shoes that you want to buy or check out or try out, you know, give this video a like. And if you're intrigued by videos like this and you want to subscribe to somebody that's very diverse, very multi-talented, never know what video's coming up next because he's always good at a lot of different things then go ahead and subscribe you know what i'm saying and everybody that's been watching and been subscribing lately thank you thank you guys for the recent comments and everything i pay attention to everything i be busy at work a lot the boys are boss i can't stress that enough because a lot of people don't just don't be understanding i'm balancing being a father you know single father at that you know and on top of that youtuber and a manager you know what i'm saying so it's, it's harder than it seems. I make it look so damn easy, especially with my energy and the age that I'm at. So with that being said, people of YouTube, it's been your boy, The Hobby Collector, and I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.